Hello, and if you're an English speaker, welcome to a new episode of Insights Inside, where I'm usually speaking in German about the three principles together with my colleagues, Sandra Heim, Sylvia Kittil, and Lea Wernley. Today, I'm alone, and I'm just going to be pointing um, by myself from my backyard to wherever you are on the topic of what's the point, um, why we even why we can look in the direction of the three principles? Why, why, why would it even make sense to do that? Why, why does it matter? So stick around. I'm going to let the German speaking audience know what's coming their way. And then we'll get on with that English episode in a minute. Hallo und herzlich willkommen, wenn du deutschsprachig bist, zu einer neuen Episode von Insights Inside. Und weißt du vielleicht schon, äh, wenn du eine Weile dabei bist, normalerweise spreche ich auf Deutsch über die drei Prinzipien zusammen mit meinen Kolleginnen Sandra Heim, Sylvie Kittil und Lea Wernley. Und heute darf ich ähm, alleine, sie haben mir die Zügel übergeben für ein paar Episoden und heute ist eine davon, wo ich über die drei Prinzipien spreche mit dir aus meinem Garten heraus und heute geht es um das Thema, was ist überhaupt der Grund, warum es Sinn macht, in Richtung der drei Prinzipien zu gucken. What's the point, würde man auf Englisch sagen. Um, hör mal rein und wenn dein Deutsch oder dein Englisch nicht so perfekt ist, mach dir gar keine Sorgen, lass das einfach über dich ergehen. Schau, sei neugierig, um, was das mit dir macht, wenn du einfach zuhörst, ohne den Anspruch, alles verstehen zu müssen, sondern einfach in das Gefühl reingehst, was, was dabei entsteht. Ich freue mich, dass du da bist und wir hören uns am Ende der Episode wieder auf Deutsch. Hallo. <lacht> And welcome back to my garden. The neighbors are still renovating their facade, so I have no idea how loud or quiet it's going to be. I'm looking around the corner because I think the kids are coming home as well. Um, yeah, before I go on the dog walk, I wanted to look in a direction with you. Um, the direction of like, why? What's What's the whole point of finding out about how we work, who we really are? Um, our levels of consciousness and all that. And what it what it looks like to me is the whole point is just to have a, a lighter experience of life, a more wonderful experience of life. And that's a little bit different maybe than some of the things we see out in the world. Like lately, I've been stumbling across videos on, on YouTube. I'm a huge YouTube fan <laughs> and uh, I watch much too much of it, that's for sure. You know, stumbling across some, some different videos about, you know, raising our vibration um, in order to get more of what we want in the world like having a big vision and being emotionally involved with that imaginative goal and therefore getting more from life you know more money a bigger house um, a better career um partner of your dreams, <laughs> like whatever it is that you are trying to manifest. And it seems to me 
at the point of looking in this direction is different. Not that you can't have all that those things, you can. Not that you can't go for those things, you can. But for me, there's something different in, in this understanding and the direction that we look, which is, it's just being touched more deeply by life itself. As I'm sitting here, I'm, 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 I'm sky gazing literally looking up at the blue sky and the clouds and just for the fact that I can be more present now today after being a while in this understanding you know I can I can really see and feel life around me that that blue sky fills me up. That breeze on my skin just touches me. It just makes me feel amazing. There's something about this understanding and looking in the direction of the three principles that opens us up wide open to a lighter, but also richer and deeper experience of life. We, when we get present in life, that space underneath all of our personal thinking, when our personal thinking gets less and less interesting over time. We fill up more with love. We, we fill up with compassion for other people. We see more beauty, the littlest of things. Sometimes I lay in bed and I smell my stinky dogs. <laughs> and I just, I just take it in that smell that gift <laughs> of those stinky dogs and their beautiful energy. Yeah. So, you know, there's, there's nothing against wanting more from life, wanting to go for things in life, play bigger, play play harder, play faster, whatever it is that you might feel drawn to do, if you feel to do it from a space of joy and inspiration. But there's something about this understanding that just helps us to be even more fulfilled with less Everything becomes a gift, an opportunity. <laughs> They're starting to drill next door. And I wanted to point in that direction for another reason. Leah always teases me. Um, she, Leah's my business partner, if you don't know. Um, Leah loves to talk about the three principles. She would 
sit down by any given person at a bus stop <laughs> and get into a conversation with them. She always sees teachable moments or ways to bring up the three principles or some, some form of, of sharing. It's just, she loves that. I am, I don't even know how I got into this profession, becoming a transformative coach or a three principles coach and mentor. I don't even know how I end up sitting here talking to you in this podcast or video, whatever way you're looking at it. Because I really sometimes just don't at all even, even know how I end up talking about it because I'm so much more interested in being in, the, in life than I am about, than talking about the understanding, as weird as that sounds. You know, like, when I go for a walk with the dogs, you know, just the fascination of the trees, the people that we come upon, the other sweet animals, smoking a cigarette down at the stream, listening to the water just slowly trickle by. It, it's, it doesn't seem hard to me at all just to be in life. That's the place I'm always drawn to go. And I like to talk about it every once in a while in this way, like we're doing today, because I don't know the quotes. <laughs> I never can remember who said what, but I know Sid talked about, like when you get this, when you see it, when you, when you see your experiences being created through the principle of thought, when you see you are, you are the full-on life force itself in form, connected to all things, the principle of mind, guided by, by a deeper intelligence. When you see you are pure consciousness, noticing the difference between being in the feeling of your thought and being in the feeling of life, stop thinking about it then just go and live life <laughs> like that's all you need to see you're done you're done i think sid would say something like if you're listening to this cassette in the car and you and you and you get it throw it out the window and go and live your life that's the point that is literally the point gaining the understanding, waking up to the truth, having more well-being, a lighter and deeper experience of life. And that's it. That's the point. That's the whole point. Not that we can't meet in fellowship and share about the understanding. Some of us are called to do that. I seem to be called to do that, even though it's very confusing to me. <laughs> that I, me? Why me? What? I, I don't want to talk about this. We can... We can philosophize and all of that. I think I think I remember talking, hearing some people talk about some of, some of Sid Banks' um, earlier students, his first students, and they would tell you Sid wasn't sitting around talking about this all day long. Rarely, actually, 
they would go over to meet with him, go to his house, and they'd just drink tea or watch television or go, go for a walk, do a bonfire down at the, the water. And I love those stories so much when I heard them. Because I thought, yeah, that's it. That's the whole point. It's the only reason to look in this direction. Just to get back into life. To laugh more, to smell the stinky dogs. To drive with your windows down, the music turned up. Lee and I, we, um, There it goes again, the drill. You know, we have these crazy interests outside of the understanding, you know, like we like to do makeup. We're obsessed with Trini London and share the color palettes. We love her Friday twinning. They dress up the exact same. We bought outfits to match, like sometimes we show up on Christmas podcasts, dressed exactly alike, looking like a Christmas present. Or the other day on our book reading, um, we showed up in the same dress. I, I contacted Leah before the, the live call and I said, what can we do to have some fun tonight? Like, can we dress the same? And she had gifted me a dress um, that looked exactly like one she had. And so we put it on and we dressed exactly the same. You know what I mean? Do you feel, do you feel what I'm saying? Like sometimes there's, there's a bit of seriousness or intellectualness that gets tacked on to this understanding. And today I just wanted to point you back to the point. Not that we can't talk about it. Not that that doesn't bring us joy sometimes. Not that the fellowship is not amazing. Recently, there was a 3P conference and I showed up to the call that Michaela and Mark and Katya did. And that was just beautiful to be in that feeling. But just, just to remind you the point, <laughs> why we even look there. Yeah. So that's what I hope for you. And it doesn't matter where you are. If you just stumbled across this understanding yesterday, or if you've been in this conversation for the last seven years or longer, my deepest desire and hope for you is that every moment is just becoming a lighter experience a deeper experience, a more joyful experience, a more peaceful experience, that you're in life fully. And sometimes it's not all like a, a cream pie with a cherry on top. You know, right now my, um, my father-in-law is in the hospital and he's not doing well. And my husband is there in Nuremberg with his mother. Um, she's worried about him. She's struggling with some health issues as well. Not everything is all the time rosy. Life, life has its storms of Yeah, it has its storms, period. It throws us balls. We like to say it throws us balls. <laughs> we have to catch. But even then, being in that, that's life too. Being fully in that. Yesterday I was just writing notes, one for my father-in-law, one for my mother-in-law. 
I couldn't, I couldn't be there with them today. But just connecting with them that way, being in that in life in that way, putting a whole thing of Tupperware together and sending food their way, all of my love wrapped up into that Tupperware, nourishing them, in their body. My my, my mother in law, she's not eating much right now. You know. I could be in the worried space, or I could be in life. I could be in life as it is being presented in the moment. That that's doesn't always look rosy, but we can be in it differently. That's the point of this understanding. Okay. That's good for today. The dogs are getting a little bit restless and ready to go. So we're going to head into the woods. We'll catch you on the next talk. Bye. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode of Insights Inside in English today. Keep a lookout for further episodes, special episodes that we create in the English language in future. We'll let you know um, when that happens via email. So be sure to get on our mailing list for that. Für die Deutschsprachigen unter euch, ich hoffe, dass die Episode dir heute gefallen hat, dass du in das Gefühl gekommen bist, dass ich auch gefühlt habe, während ich gesprochen habe. Ich hoffe, dass du für dich hast was mitnehmen können ganz egal, ob du Englisch hervorragend verstehst oder gar nicht so gut. Ich freue mich, wir freuen uns, dass du dabei bist und wir hören uns bei einer nächsten neuen Episode von Insights Inside. Bis dahin. Tschüss.